I wouldn't want to be on his bad side. I wouldn't want to be on his good side. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and we have finally reached the end of our journey with Studio Series Devastator. We have reviewed all eight components, and if you missed any of those reviews, there will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. But without further ado, let's get down to combining these boys and forming Devastator. So let's get down to it. So we will start off with Hightower and scrap metal here. So this is just going to plug in to this port right here. This can take a bit of doing because this is pretty stiff, but it's doable and it's doable. It just takes a little bit of finagling. Also, you have to make sure you hold this steady because it's on a hinge, so it's going to move on you while you're trying to apply pressure to it. And that's on a hinge, so that's going to move on you while you're trying to apply pressure to it. As usual, it's kind of maximum effort for minimal results, but hey, it is what it is. But there you go. Okay. So we got a creepy arm all hooked up, so we got that going. And we can take this bit right here that came off of overload, and this will just clip over the mixing drum like so, to give Devastator his proper looking neck there. And what do we do now? We'll take Scavenger here and plop the head on. So what's gonna happen here is this section here is gonna go in between the two rear tires and their clips right here, which will go over these two bars right here. So again, this takes a bit of finagling it's doable. This is honestly the most annoying part of this combination, but we'll get it. We'll get it. There we go. So that's clipped in, and then you just kind of push these down, and they should clip in, and that should clip in like that. And there we go. And these little bits you can have up, down, whatever you want to do. You can bring them up. So it's, looks like there's a little bit more going on back here. As always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. But there we have that going on right there. So we'll just put this off to the side for now and knock things over because of course, come back here, man, come back here. So we're gonna form a feet and legs. So we have Rampage here. This is just going to slide in right up in here. So just bring it in and this is pretty stiff. So I just kind of push down. Yeah, there we go. Now we have one leg and we bring in Long haul, it's the same deal here. Just slides right into this opening right here. It just comes down and... Where are we? There we go. That just slides right down, like so. And this panel that comes off of a scrap metal, there's a little port for it right there on the knee. Just put that in there, there you go. <laughs> little storage spot for it, if you need a storage spot for it. But you got that going on. And now we can come up here. This is going to get a little bigger. So now we're going to bring in all of this. And the slot right here will go over this big section right here. So that just lines up and just drops down like so. These wheels here, you can just angle back. These pieces here, you just rotate up. I don't know if there's an actual locking point for these. The instructions just say swing them up, so I just swing them up. So, if there's a locking point for them, I don't know what it is, but there we have that. <laughs> He's a big boy. He's a big boy. So now he needs some arms. So we just take Scrapper, and he just drops right down. Right there, like so. And then we bring in these two here. And they will just drop down like so to form the other arm. Boop. And there you go, my friends. There you have Studio Series Devastator. And he is big, he is beefy, he is chunky, and all that good stuff there. But yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, is it 100% screen accurate? No, but 
for what it is, it works. Works for me anyway. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. He is a big boy though. He does. He, he's got some heft to him. He definitely has some weight to him. I mean, you know, keep in mind this is this is eight figures here. So yeah, he definitely has some uh, some heft to him. But let's just take a look at the details here. Let's take a look at that beautiful noggin of his. Oh, look at this precious. That's a precious face right there. <laughs> there you go. Lots of nice detail going on there. Got some nice green there for the eyes. You can open his mouth. Got those teeth picked out in silver. It's looking nice and menacing. Just a big old mess of stuff going on there. You can see the back of Overload's head <laughs> right there. No hiding that. And it's all kinds of claws and things and stuff and more claws and more things and stuff. And his big old feet. Look at them big old feet. Big old stompers right there. You can see. Got this bit just kind of hanging out the back, but all in all, not too shabby. Now, as far as articulation goes, uh, the head can't really do anything it's kind of locked in place there is something you can do about that but we'll get to that a little bit later of course you can open and close his mouth as far as the arms go they can rotate at this hinge right here they can also move in and out uh, you do have bicep rotation of course you do have moving on down yes Elbow joints, and of course you have all kinds of claws that can move, all that good stuff. Uh, nothing at the waist, he doesn't really have a waist joint per se, or does he? Does this move? Is this a separate piece? Wait a second. Is there a waist joint? No, I think he does have a waist joint. Wait a second. Because that's... No. It seems like that's a separate piece and it should move. Am I missing something? Huh. Huh. Okay. I feel like that's supposed to be a waist joint, but I don't want to force it because I don't want to break anything. I don't know. But as far as the legs go, the legs can move forward pretty high. Can move back about that far. Outward, if we can move his big arms out of the way. You can do the full splits. You do have Thigh rotation. He doesn't have knees. His knees are locked in place, but the feet, it can move up. You get that ratchet going, you can move up, you can move down, and you also have ratchet ankle tilts. And that's on either side there, up and down. All that good stuff there. Now, as good as this looks, this isn't how we remember Devastator in the movie. He wasn't standing upright. He was crawling around on all fours like the giant vicious beast that he is. And you can do this with this figure. It just takes a bit, it takes a little bit of fan moding, but I'm going to show this off. I saw people doing this online and it, it works very well. It definitely helps to get a more uh, screen accurate stance out of old Devi here. So you want to take this off just to... Uh, Make your life a little bit easier. You also have to remove this front part of the cab section. You have to put this off to the side for now. And once we've done that, uh, it also helps if we uh, just bring down these chest pieces. Again, just so you can see what you're doing and you have room to operate. So what we need to do here is we need to just bring these sections off to the side. And this faux tire here tabs in to the side. So you want to untab this. So untab that, and you also want to end up pulling out the uh, the leg here. So untab this one side, turn them over, and get under here and untab this and untab this. And when that frees up, that will then allow you to angle his head up. And you can just kind of close this up around it, and then just take these legs and just kind of, you know, tidy them up, neaten them up as best you can. Just kind of tuck everything in there. And now you can see, you can have his head facing upward, and then we can just bring these up, like so. So now, what we can do is we can just bring his legs up, like so. Bring the legs up, and then we can bring his arms down here and just get him on his knuckles. And this is one configuration you can do with it. 
if you want. And you know, you can put this back on. I'm just gonna get things out of the way. There we go. And you can have that going on. And you can actually have him all hunched over. And that looks pretty cool. And like this, he's just bent over. Now, if you want to do a full crawl, um, you can do that. You can just take the feet and just bring them up on those ratchets there. Now on long haul, you will have to take these side bits and swing them out. So the foot will move up, because otherwise it won't. You can get like one click out of it, and then you can just bring the legs back some, and there you go, you can get him into more of a crawl there. So you can have that look going on. So A, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it, it'll make him look more accurate. Hey, as always, it's an option and options are good. And of course now you have uh, this piece left over, which I, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's, the only thing that I found to do with it is just kind of wedge it back here. There you go. You can just wedge it back there. You know, hey, it's a place for it to go. If you need it to go somewhere, A, it is what it is, but there you go. Got him in a full crawl there. Like I said, makes him look a lot more accurate, and I do quite dig that. I may not display him in the full crawl. I might just keep his legs straight, but uh, I think having him hunched over just definitely makes him look so much better. But hey, as always, whatever you want to do, it's your toy. Display it however you wish. So there you have that, and now for comparison. Here he is with Studio Series Prime. With Megs. With the uh, Jetfire Prime combo. It's a DNA kit. Whoosh. With a uh, Combiner Wars combiner, just so you can get a sense here of how big Devi is. With the Combiner Wars Devastator, I can say he's a bit taller there than Movie Devi. Here he is with uh, Studio Series Leader Grimlock, because he's a pretty big Studio Series figure in his own right. And last but not least, with G1 Devastator, because he's precious! Oh, so precious. So, there you go! So there you have Studio Series Devastator, and yeah, he's pretty cool, you know. Is he 100% screen accurate? No, he's not, but you know, for what it is for being a mainline movie Devastator, it works, it does the job. Um, you know, he definitely looks a lot better if you do the fan mode and have him, you know, hunched over. It definitely makes him look a lot more screen accurate and gives him the proper posture he's supposed to have, so that helps a great deal, so doing that fan mode I would definitely recommend, but um... Otherwise, yeah, it's pretty solid. It comes together very well. I mean, everything does lock together very solidly, so there's no real stability issues. He does stand just fine. Um, but yeah, you know, I wish there was a little bit more posability, like in the head and the, you know, in the legs. But all in all, though, for what it is, it gets the job done, and I think it's pretty good, all said and done. So, there you go. Now, of course, you can buy Studio Series figures from BigBadToyStore.com. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Studio Series playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Studio Series Devastator, and this is M Ghost saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, home in your face. Ah, Devastator! Finally, my ultimate weapon against the Autobots has arrived! Yeah, yeah, happy to be here. Um, listen, can we, uh, can we take a little break first? A break? Yeah, just, just a little one. You, you, you listen to me, and I only say this because I care. If you go on a break, I will rip you apart with my bare hands. Okay?
Um, no pacer. All right, now get to work. Take a break. You've got to be kidding me. With oh, God, God, God! Ah! Really? You think this is funny? By the way, you really need a breath mint. Just saying. <laughs>